And when you come here, you're coming on top of the mountains, you really do feel that it's a... Uh, 30 and 40. 40? Yes, si. 40, okay. So. <laughs> Yeah, super, super. Wow, that's a long time. Yes, yes. That's a long time. In no, the same place? Yes. Same yeah. place famous with wool and water. With wool and water. It's a very... Just the colors here, it's just, it just pops out at you. Alright guys, so the, the bus ride was... Actually, taxi ride was not too bad. Um, not too rough. The roads in Morocco are pretty nice. It's not bumpy. Uh, you see a lot of nice mountains, farms, animals yeah. along the way. Yeah. It's beautiful. But now I'm here in the blue city of Shefshaun. And we're going to be exploring this city for the next day or two. So I'm actually just looking for a taxi. The sun is going down soon. So I do have to head back to my place. And I'll be exploring this city and showing you guys as well. So stay tuned. So guys, I did get here a little bit late. But um, if you do come to Shefshaun and you want a nice place to stay, and it's an affordable place to stay, I'm staying here at the Ayman rooftop. The place is nice, the room is clean, and it's very, very affordable. So definitely look out for them on the Airbnb app or they're on Booking as well. They're on all platforms. It's called Amen. So I'm gonna start exploring now. Assalamu alaikum. So I'm gonna start exploring now, but I'll probably have to continue this video tomorrow just because it's gonna get dark soon and then, you know, the video is not really doable when it's dark. So as you can see, walking through this city, Obviously, like very similar to other cities in Morocco, you have these tight, narrow streets. But what makes this city so special is just the color. It's magical. As you walk through, you feel like you're walking in clouds. And it is just amazing. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. This way? Okay, thank you. Okay, shukran, shukran. So one thing they say about uh, this city is it's the city where you come in Morocco to relax, get away from the madness. And when you come here, you coming on top of the mountains, you really do feel that it's a, it is a place where you come relax. And I mean, gosh, the colors here, it's just, it pops out at you. So one thing uh, that's also very similar to other cities in Morocco, as you walk through these small streets, there are a lot of places to get uh, some local goods. And one man just stopped me here. Thank you. Uh, he has, what is this called? I this forgot is a jalaba wool. Jalaba. 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 So this, I the see. The short one is a mini jalaba. The short one is a mini yeah, jalaba. The zip. So they have for children. For for for, oh, for man, uh, for uh, for, for men, women, uh, everybody. You make it here, or? Yes, also she make. I have a two machine. That one is big, uh, small. Oh wow! So you do it yourself? Yes. You are the. Yes, my brother. She she work here. Ah oh, yes. wow, that's amazing. This so this is this is the yes. this is the machine. And how long ha uh, how long have you be guys been in this business? This business uh, maybe. 60, 60 years. Uh, 60? 60, yes. Wow, that's a Morgan long time. 60, yes. That's a long time. In no, the same no, place? Yes. Uh, same place? Another place. Uh, 60, uh, in this is place. In this place. Another place, uh, Mork 60. Are you... Are yeah. you Grandfather. Your family originally from Chef Yes, Shawin? yes, from Fiji. What? Why is uh, Chef Shawin special? Special. Okay. I, uh, this is a wool. Wool special, the wool. The wool is special. Yes. Somebody else mentioned yes, that. The yes, wool, yes. it's a nice place to relax. The, relax tranquilo. Yes, yeah. Yeah, tranquilo yeah. Definitely. Habla español? Ah, poquito. poquito habla. Sí. Sí. Uh, mi, uh, vivi, vivir en Estados Unidos. Ah. Allá mucho personas habla español. Sí, sí, sí. So. Bueno. ¿Tú hablas? Sí, habla. Ah. Un poco de, un poco bueno, de bueno. Para explicar. Handmade machine. Yes, yes. <laughs> How old is this machine? Well, maybe uh, 70. 70 years. Old. 70 years man and it's still working no problem Grand grandfather amazing yes. amazing thank you habibi what's the name of your shop uh this is the Draz nasar nasar shop nasar shop so guys if you come to uh chef shawan and you want to buy some good wool make sure you come to my friend here Draz is a uh, factory yeah you yeah. visit them they're gonna take care of you maybe they can make one custom yes. for you right yes. also yeah no different than any other city that i've experienced here in morocco everybody's very nice kind welcoming it's marhaba from the moment you arrive here and that is the one of the most beautiful things about this country not just this city is the fact that every city that you visit every place you visit they're so welcoming they're very kind and that makes the country so much more exciting and, and fun assalamu alaikum
fun. It's one of like uh, there's a there's a few places in the world that I've visited that you know you don't need to do anything. You can just walk through, and this is definitely one of them. The beauty that you see as you walk along is amazing. And invited into another shop here, and this is also a wool. I think this is the specialty in uh in Chef Shawin, huh? This is the special thing in Chef Shawin, the wool. Chef Shawin is famous with wool and water. With wool and water. Yeah. What do you mean by water? Because a lot of water, a lot of rivers there in Chef oh. Shawin. Yeah, it's called water and wool. Oh, and the water, you can just drink it from the... You can just drink it from the river or also from the fountain. Is it the only city in Morocco that you can do this? No, it's all all cities, but in North is a, a lot of water, a lot of rivers. It's very cold water, it's special water. I want to try it. Yes. You have to go to the waterfall, right? Everywhere cold water. It's yeah? not like Fas or Marrakesh. Uh, ah. water, but in Shab Shawan it's, it's very cold. cold. Uh, yes. I will try it. It's like you drink water, it's like you take it from the fridge. Like and how much do you charge for something like these, these blankets? Something like this costs 450 dirham. 450 yes. dirham. So for, for those of you watching, 450 dirham is like 45 euro, 45 dollars around which is actually pretty fair so if you own a home if you want to buy custom fabrics wool fabrics for your home don't waste your money in America or Europe come here to Morocco you will you can buy 10 of these for what you will buy one of them in America so we have special this is for men okay man you make blanket like this uh, one that take four days of work for make one blanket like four this days one. yes wow. I will show you bro. okay thank you man I appreciate it So is this a rug? Is it a what? This is blankets. It's a blanket. This is, you can use blankets. You can use for covert bed. You can uh, use the wall. Okay, okay. Very nice. And women's they wear carpets. Oh, this is carpet. this okay. This is long for women. This is for the women. Oh, okay. Very nice. Uh, What's your name, brother? Omar. Omar. And thank you, you so much, Maher. Maher. Nice to meet you. Nice Maher. to meet you. Welcome. You. I have to say, like, your English is perfect. Thank you, bro. You, thank you so much, bro. brother. So yeah, guys, what's the name of the shop? Omar. Omar. No, what's the name of the shop? Nomad House. Nomad House. Nomad House. So guys, if you come to Shif Shawan, you can come here to this Nomad House. Also, guys, one thing that's really cool here is you'll see a lot of people doing their crafts right on the street. So this guy is actually making the thing right here in front of us, as you can see. Shunut uh, nam nam. You. Said my salam alaikum. So this guy he actually makes the wood. Let's. So and then you can see the finished product. He made all of these things, all of these wood things that you see. He made it. You make this. This. Kulli. Oh wow! Uh, with this. Kulli al khidma Wow! Mashallah! Amazing! He actually does it by hand. Very nice. But you, you take time. How quantos uh, horas para make it? Poco, poco habla, si, si. No, one hundred cincuenta dirham. Cincuenta dirham. Pero tú, cuántos horas? Cuántos horas de este? Una hora y media. Una hora una y media. media. So he makes this one in about an hour and a half. Yeah, in an hour and a half. La puerta del chabón de de antes. Ya hace tiempo de la puerta del chabón así. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, do you have small, small, pequeño, pequeño, pequeño? Porque mi mi bag is muy pequeño. Necesito una small, small. I want to get something from this guy because he is such a he's so skilled and he's such a gentleman. Um, but I don't want to get something big, man. My bag is getting full. Yeah. This is beautiful. Um, he also has like this local kind of Moroccan uh, pieces. Oh, oh, oh. This is also very nice. Oh, very nice. Uh, yeah. A pencil case. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the... Ah, you can put the pen in it. Very nice. Yeah. This one, how much? This one? You can do... Uh, uh, Cinco. Can you do uh, para me uh, 30 okay? 30? Y 40. 40? Si, sí. 40 okay. So for 4 euros, we're going to get this beautiful piece right here. And I'm going to support. Uh, 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 business, uh, que? Business name. Nombre. Nombre de, nombre de tu, tu shop. Nom, nombre de tu mercado. Que? Es que. Que mercado le cerca de El Auta. Cerca de? Se llama El Auta. El Auta. It's just uh, really awesome to see people who take so much pride in the things that they make and the things that they do. As you walk around these little streets, you just find people that are so good at their specific trades and it's nice to see that.
Now it's time to go try some food, and my friend is going to help me find one of the best restaurants here in Chef Shawan known as Saada. I don't know where it is, but he's taking me. So let's see if we can find it. So here we have this tanji. It's a very special dish to Morocco, but it seems like they uh, Americanized mine a little bit by putting French fries in it. I'm not sure. But uh, the chicken looks very nice. For some reason, it seems like they've Americanized mine a little bit. I don't know why there's so many french fries in it. That's the only thing that's bothering me. But the chicken is really yummy. It's very tender. And what makes this dish very special is the pot that it's cooked inside of. It's like a clay kind of pot. So that's what it's cooked inside. That's what gives it a different kind of flavor. It has an olive flavor. It has a lemony flavor. But um, overall, it's actually pretty tasty. And... It's only 45 dirham, which is like four and a half euro, so it's not bad. I'm going to keep it honest with you guys. You know, I don't usually lie. Um, I'm very honest. I don't know, like three people recommended this restaurant. Anytime I ask someone, what is a good restaurant, they send me to this one. So I'm thinking it's going to be amazing. I mean, like everybody knows about it. But honestly, like the food isn't that great. And like this is all French fries, you know. All French fries. That's like I don't know. I just wanted something more authentic. It's the problem sometimes. Like when you ask people, they as a tourist they think that I want like touristy food, but I want to try like local. But hopefully tomorrow I'll get something a little bit. But the chicken is good. So I'm walking through after that disappointing meal. I'm just walking through here at night trying to experience what it's like just walking through these souks at night definitely a little bit different just a nighttime vibe I will say one thing people are a lot more chill the sellers are more chill here they're not like trying to haggle you down and bring you in to buy stuff they're just like if you want to see it you can see it and that's always nice because I don't like being sold to I don't like when people like rush up to me and try to sell me things every five seconds because how am I supposed to enjoy it, you know? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Are you from Chef Shaun? Yes, from Chef Shaun, brother. Well, yeah, it's yes. beautiful. Chef Shaun is beautiful. The blue tongue, Thank brother. you. Thank you so much. The blue seas. Where are you from? I'm from America. America. But originally, my family's from Pakistan. Pakistan. Yeah. Amazing. I like American accent, bro. <laughs> I do, yeah. You have American accent. Thank you, bro. Just from Square, you know. Where? where? Just from Square because from. I work in there. Oh, so you talk to many yeah. Americans? Uh, Lots okay. of tourists. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. We're in US. What? I, I'm from New York. New York, yeah. amazing. I like America, New York. You when know? you come to New York, you call like, me. Like I'm walking here. For yeah. Get out of here. Inshallah, <laughs> <laughs> brother. Yeah, brother. When you come, you, my, my, you give my, me a call. My drink goes to Canada. You see my cat? Ah, yeah, Canada. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you, there, New York is better, man. Yeah? Come to New York. Yeah. There is so cold, I think. Yes, brother. What's that? There in Canada, yeah. so cold. It's very cold. Yeah. yeah. yeah not What's like your here. name, by the way, bro? Meyer. 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 Nice. What's your name? You. Walid. Walid, nice yes, to meet you, Habibi. Thank you, brother. All right. You are so famous, brother. No, not so famous, yeah, you know? Yeah, I can see your, my video there on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, in, on YouTube. My channel yes. is Meyer Travels. Yes. Nice to meet you, you brother. Good thank you so much. You. Good night. See you. you see everybody in the souk? Everybody. You, okay, brother. See you, see you, see you. Everybody is very, very kind, man. Super nice. It's, that's what's up. That's what's up. It's a beautiful place, man. It's my first day here. I'm just making a video about yeah, Chef Shaun. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So he's a local. What do you What do you call the people from Chef Shaun? What How do you say like Chef? The people from like I'm from New York, so I say I'm a New Yorker. How do you say? Yeah. Uh, Brooklyn and then Staten Island. What about you? Staten Island, the the dude, the Pete Davidson, you know him? Which oh Pete Davidson, yeah, 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 yeah. He's good. Yeah. I like his. He's 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 pretty funny, man. Where uh, so you? We call, we call people from Chef Shaun. Uh, in Arabic? Yeah, in Arabic. Shauni. Shauni. Yeah. Uh, so you're Shauni. What's special about Chef Shaun to you? Since you're from here. Just mountains, cold, really cold. <laughs> have you been Have you been out? Did you yeah, go outside? Yeah, yeah. I can tell you traveled a lot. No, I didn't. I didn't go outside the country though. Oh, not outside. Yeah. But outside of Chef yeah, yeah. But you seem like you know about pop culture, American culture yeah, and stuff. I listen to music. You listen to music. Nice, nice. That's awesome, man. 
people speak French here mostly, but like English, it's rare. Man. It's rare, yeah, yeah. No, but I, in Tangier, in Tangier, people speak Spanish. That's, yeah, they, I speak they a, saw this Spanish. Yeah, like I speak poquito, poquito, poquito. So I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> What's your name, bro? Medi. Medi, my, my, nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, what is my man making over here? What is this? It's cheese. Oh, cheese. Local cheese. Some. Uh, Oh, cream cheese. Oh. Yep. Very nice. Uh, M Y E R. Meyer. Yeah, Meyer. Travels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll see me, hopefully. I don't have Wi Fi, it's far. Nah, no worries. Whenever you get a chance, man. I don't know what they're selling over here. Some escargot. Salam alaikum. Uh, what is this? Escargot, sleep Escargot. I like this guy. Hefe. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's a Hefe. Hefe, Salaamu Alaikum Hefe. Salaamu Alaikum. Hefe. Kapo, Kapo, Kapo. Huh? You, you want to be in the camera? Yeah? Ah, okay, thank you. No, you, you, you. You, you. <laughs> shukra, shukra. <laughs> he's the boss of Chef Shaun. If you come to Chef Shaun, you have to see him. Chef Shawin. Oh wow. This is... Look at this guys. We have some escargot. I don't know how to eat this, but I think you take the escargot. No no sabe. Como comer? Uh, like this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Ah, okay. Ah, so there's a meat inside. Been a while since I've eaten snails. Mm. It's actually not bad. You know, in France, if you eat this, they're gonna charge you a lot of money. But here, you can get it for a good price. Ooh, that doesn't taste so good. It's like a, I think it's the juice of the snail. It's not so nice. It's very, it has like a bitter kind of taste. Ah, uh, Ah, no, 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 me, me, very full. No, no, no. This guy's a boss, man. He's a cool dude. <laughs> One thing that you gotta know about these places is you get lost very easily. Like, I have no idea where I'm going. Wayne is a bab souk. Like this. I'm in here. I know. It's same. Same. Okay. So, so this, this way, turn to the left. Okay. I am lost in this souk. I have no idea where I'm going, but I will figure it out. <laughs> Alright guys, you can see the nighttime is upon us. I'm tired. I've had a long journey from Tangier to Chef Shaun. This was my first day, first impressions of Chef Shaun. So far, I love the city. It's not huge, there's not too much to see, but whatever there is to see, all of it is encapsulating it's beautiful it is enchanting and the colorful city well blue city i should call it is just a a place it's full of wonders and i'm so excited to explore some more tomorrow so stay tuned guys there's going to be more videos coming soon from chef shaun and morocco with that being said guys remember continue to learn continue to grow and there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone i'll see you guys on the next one peace out